Good morning everyone. Today we are going to discuss whether the limit and continuity in the vector calculus. Function of limit and continuity of a function of two variable. Right. So before starting that uh, limit and continuity of the function of two variable, uh, we have to discuss, uh, we have to review the limit and continuity of function of one variable. Right. So first we are going to uh, review the limit of a function of one variable. What was that? Consider the function y equal to f of x. Then limit limit x approaches to a. x is getting close to a. f of x equal to l means what? What is its means? Means whenever but not equal to whenever means whenever x approach x is getting close to x is getting close to getting close to a but not equal to a f of x is getting close to getting close to L. This is the meaning of this definition. Right? Sometimes we are using the term approaches. Approaches instead of this getting close to A. Here we are using more appropriate, more accurate one is getting close to. So whenever X is getting close to A, it's just not equal to A, then a pop X is getting close to A. So its graph is like this. Suppose this is x-axis, y-axis. Suppose this is our graph f of x, y equal to f of x. Suppose this is a point x equal to a and uh, this is our the point this is l. This is l. Then whenever x is approaches to a then f of x must be in f of x approaches to l. So also we can say that if for any mathematically we can define this for any epsilon greater than 0 there is a corresponding number corresponding bonding number delta greater than 0 such that mod f of x minus l is less than epsilon whenever whenever 0 less than mod x minus a is less than delta. Mathematically we are returned this sentence is uh, transferred into this form. Right? That is whenever x approaches mod x minus a is less than delta means whenever x approaches from the right hand from the left side, this f of x approaches, right? So this f of x uh, in the epsilon neighborhood, this f of x must be in the epsilon neighborhood of this L. This is, this is L minus epsilon and this point is L plus epsilon. So f of x approaches to L. And f of x lies in this uh, neighborhood L minus epsilon to L plus epsilon. Right. So, next is, next is, so what, what will be the case of this? Also, one more note, you have to note that limit, limit extending to A minus f of x equal to limit extending to A plus f of x. That is the approaches from the left hand to right must be same as f of x equal to l which will which must be same as the limit. Right? Then we say that uh, limit exists and uh, this limit approaches from the two side. Right? Then f of x approaches to the value. From the two side when we are approaching this a from the left side and left side, right side, then f of x, the value of f of x must be equal to L. 
Okay. So, so we have to understand what is the limit of a function of next up we have to understand what is the limit of a function of several variables right and to do that it's good idea to go back and uh, review that's why i reviewed the uh, limit uh, limit of function of one variable right for uh, now in the case of the two variable uh, things don't get much to differ. The same definition is we are following, right? That is, the definition is equal to we say that uh, consider the function. So next is we are going to define the limit of function of two variable. Function of two variable, right? limit of function of two variable so from the definition is consider the function f of x y consider the function f of x y f of x y approaches to approaches or close getting close to approaches to approaches the limit limit l as here the variable is x y x y approaches x y approaches x naught y naught and we write it as and we write it as limit x y approaches to x naught y naught f of x y equal to l if as in the case of same as in the case of one variable if for every for every number epsilon greater than zero there exists a Corresponding, corresponding number delta greater than zero such that for all x y the domain of E F in the domain of F zero less than mod x y minus x y two x naught y naught distance between x y and x naught y naught is less than delta implies implies whenever implies mod f of x y minus l is less than epsilon or this can be